Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 19.631. This is build 19.631 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. You might notice this is an MN release, not a RS release. MN, Microsoft say this stands for Manganese Branch. So this is the Manganese Branch. And they're going to be switching this over of Insider Builds, fast ring Insider Builds, to the Iron Branch. You'll see FE. Um, towards the later part of June and that will be for some new functionality because this build doesn't have any real major changes to it so not so this will be a nice quick video today I should also say as well if you're a Windows Insider with a Surface Pro X or an ARM 64 device then Microsoft are enabling or creating builds that you can test on a Surface Pro X uh, these are specifically AMD 64 um, images so you can go and download the VHDX files and and install them on your Surface Pro X under Hyper-V. So you have to enable Hyper-V and, uh, and then you can attach those. So at least you can start doing some insider testing on your Surface Pro X. The rest of the changes are fairly minor on here. So they've um, they fixed an issue with Windows Hello or they've updated Windows Hello so it works better with 940 nanometer wavelength cameras. So Windows Hello is the system where you can look at your laptop as it's powering on and it detects you and signs you in. I've got it on this Surface Laptop uh, 2 that I'm using here. Um, and yeah, so if you've got a camera that supports this one of those, it works better with this. Uh, the other thing they've fixed as well is uh, Windows Sandbox WSB files are now case insensitive. That is the changes. The, the fixes, there's just a few. Uh, they fixed an issue with IIS configurations being set to default. So if you're using IIS on your machine and it keeps resetting back to default every time you install a new build, that's fixed. That's the web server technology that Microsoft use. Um, they fixed an issue where key press is not waking up the device from connecting standby and they fixed an issue with remote desktop reliability. So remote desktop dropping when you're using it. So this is the remote desktop tool. You can use this one or there's a, a, a store version as well. The known issues, there's a few. Um, they're looking at some issues where some device booting from EM. MC storage may bug check when reviewing from hibernation. So some devices like the smallest Surface Go, the original Surface Go, I think the 64 gig drive has got an EMC drive and you might get a blue screen when it was out of hibernation. I've got a couple of little tablets that do the same thing. So they, you might see issues with that. Uh, they're still looking at the hanging uh, during the installation. I didn't notice that. I did notice my Surface Go and installed the build. It took three attempts. It downloaded, it failed, downloaded, it failed, downloaded, it installed. I don't know that that's related. Um, there's still an issue with the privacy icon and some taskbar um, or some thumbnails are not uh, previewing correctly. I think I did show that on the previous build. Let's have a quick look. So that's actually working fine on here. So in the previous build, they weren't rendered correctly. But uh, they're working fine on here, so but they're still um, investigating that. So that's the changes with this build. Very few. Let's hope we get to the iron builds and we start to see some some new features. I'd certainly like to see some. So thanks for watching this video. I've got a lot more stuff on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com. Uh, yeah, I've got some how-to videos, things like how to change network locations, shortcut keys. The, from uh, how to project to another monitor and all that kind of stuff. So I've got those. I've also got our weekly podcast. I've put the video version up um, for the first time. That you So you'll find that you can go on that on our YouTube channel and see that. You'll see that I've got a, a video version of a podcast. So it should be doing for nearly 16 years, something like that, but you can see those. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.